Do you see these logs? Well, if you stand back and look at them, what you've got is a whole gallery of shapes, splittings and crackings. They're made by the devil of dryness and drought. He's the one who dries out logs of wood so that they go crack. He lives in the cracks. Without knowing it, one day I prized him loose with a doodle. Here's the starter doodle. I did doodle after doodle till I got him right. This was the next doodle. Anyway, I was after something and uh, this was the next step followed by this, this figure here with a double lot of eyebrows. Here it goes, it's beginning to get uh, kind of insect-like. No, it's beginning to get uh, like a shaggy, rooty thing. See, I've got a little tick there to it. I'm going to follow that. But in the meantime, I seem to have um, either got this in by mistake or, uh, you know, this is a vegetation thing. An earth, a bank of earth there. But uh, whatever, it went on and became this, which is, I think, a type of anxiety-looking, uh, screechy-looking affair. Those kind of horizontal legs on the bottom left. And it went on and began to develop hands as well as eyebrows out of its knee. And uh, ribs... And here we go again. Now it looks as if the top is a garden rake. Beginning to look like something. Here's got a partner on the left. Doing some kind of a dance and making something. Some residue down there below in the middle. Now we're back to a twosome. I think really I'm after somewhere or other the same figure. Here's a little large version of it. Here's a woolly head uh, scrabble of something or other. Here it's beginning to resolve and again it's making some kind of residual stuff below it and uh, it's developed into that thing on the left with a lot of residual stuff under. Kind of um, mosaic gravel or roots and here are those roots and things, but look at the shape. See the kind of horizontal leg there? See what I mean? It's like something running. And by the Lord Harry it is. See, this is the finalized version of that particular sequence of doodles. And I called it a devil, a fire devil. And uh, after I was arranging that sequence, I also came across this, which I think must have influenced me somehow. And also I found this. Kind of, I um, don't know what, but it's got those uh, hanging appendages. Well, here it is now, sketched out because I'm going to try and get a composition out of it. So I've got the fire devil there, and uh, got these uh, Rudy Toots. And uh, I was digging my doodles. I went outside, and there was... Alphonse Pagano digging a ditch as all young artists must and they look familiar I think the more basic the truth the more things it fits here's the final job in the composition uh, that thing going up there like a fungus pollinating into the air and these uh, staves, well, I think uh, they came from these type of copies of sketching cracks in cement and rocks. You see? Here is another version of this thing. And here is the um, fungus I was talking about. And here are the three planting sticks. But underneath them is some sort of... Um, activity and at the side is the root stuff. I came across this reproduction about fire nearly 40 years after I'd painted my fire devil. 
So I read what it was about, and it seemed to be about an Indian legend, a myth that, uh, that uh, originally the earth was a mass of fire. There's the fire down there on the left and the trunk of the tree exposing the roots. And this is the um, belief that the earth was a mass of fire which gradually collected in the center, but that the roots of trees were still connected to the fire which could be extracted by special drills. Well, here's some special drills for you. And there's that fire. And so far as the symbols go, you might think of fire as being the antithesis of plant life, but it ain't. <laughs>